today we are gonna go on a wild ride right above Hammer Springs. So we just arrived at Hanmer Springs Adventure and we're gonna go quad biking. Yep, that pretty much summed it up. We are meeting the team from Anmer Adventures and we are heading toward their massive ship station. It's 15,000 acres, it's gigantic. So there is no better ride than a quad bike to explore it all. First up, Eugene, our guide, is gonna take the time to explain us all the safety stuff that we need to be conscious about because quad biking is quite dangerous. It's actually the one activity in New Zealand that creates the most accidents, so we're gonna have to be on our toes. In fact, quad biking is considered more dangerous than skydiving, bungee jumping, and all those other crazy activities. And for this reason, it's quite hard to find a quad biking activity in the country, so we are pretty stoked to have found this one right here. So with our helmet strapped on real tight, we went through a quick introductory uh, course where we got to learn about how to maneuver the quad bike and how to do it in a safe way. And don't expect us to be doing any stunts. We are going to be pretty conservative behind Eugene going on through the awesome land that we're going to be exploring today. After we've got through the introductory section of this tour, by going through the flat sheet fields, we are now upgraded to doing some more rougher terrain and getting uphill, doing lots of puddle and stream crossings, and just making our way higher and higher up the mountain. It's really awesome. We have so much amazing terrain to cover today. There's about 25 kilometers of purpose-built quad biking track all around this huge sheep station. The tour is about two and a half hours long, which means we get plenty of time to really make the most out of these quad bikes and just go full speed through the fields and through all the puddles. Eugene stops us a couple of times along the way just to explain how it's best to approach some of the obstacles we're going to be tackling. For instance, he's teaching us how to use the brakes down the really steep downhill sections and also what to do on the uphill sections as well to make it easier on the quad bikes and get there as fast as possible. The one thing I really like about quad bikes is how maneuverable they are. They are super easy to maneuver around and they're really responsive, meaning that every single time there is a tiny obstacle, like a massive pond of water or anything, we are able to make it through super easily. There is not really any skills involved right here. The machine is doing everything for us. But to make it even easier on us, the team from Hadmer Adventure has preloaded all the settings, so the only thing we have to worry about is literally just acceleration, steering and braking. And this makes it one of the easiest tour we've ever done. It's so easy that we actually would recommend that tour despite the fact that it's a little bit dangerous for people with kids. The guides are super competent and they'll be able to give you a different pace if you have a younger kind of crowd and they'll be able to give you a bit of a faster pace if you have a bit of more of an, a teenager crowd. It's really awesome and super convenient. So if you're traveling with kids and you want a little bit of an adrenaline rush with stunning views, you've got to do this one. The halfway point of our tour is marked when we get off our quad bikes and walk just a little way up to this amazing viewpoint overlooking the Hanma Basin. There's amazing scenery around us and it just doesn't look real. It looks like something from a painting. There's mountains as far as the eye can see. And once we've taken all the photos that we want, we are then getting back onto our quad bikes and going down this massive mountain, all the while getting some amazing views all the way down. What's really cool about this tour as well is the fact that Eugene is taking loads of photos for us, which he's actually gonna email to us after the tour for free. He's taking photos of various different locations that we're at during our quad biking tour. And he's also taking pictures one by one of us, absolutely speeding through the puddles and getting splashing everywhere. He's getting all the photos that you want on Facebook. And as soon as we make it around the bottom of the mountain, it really feels that the track has been especially designed for a splashy finish. We are going through so many puddles, so much deeper than others, getting those quad by quite a run for their money. And it's really entertaining because the whole group is kind of competing on how to pass the fastest through the puddle, making obviously the bigger splash. It's heaps of fun and we are all laughing out loud, it's so cool. 
I have to be honest, I had a bit of a giggle when we were given some gun boots, some overall, some splash jacket, all those kind of equipment which I thought were really futile. But honestly, right now I'm so thankful that we've got all of them on. It's quite funny because the Humber Springs is supposed to be one of the most relaxed towns in New Zealand. It's pretty much only famous for their hot springs, which are obviously the most relaxing place in the country. You saw a video yesterday, we were super relaxed. But there is heaps of adventure to have had here. At Mess Spring Adventure has quad biking, they even have some horse trekking, and there is some awesome hike around. There is much more to do here than meet the eye. Overall, we really had a blast this afternoon and we're super thankful to all the people in the tour as well. The two girls that were joining us during this tour were from Australia. They were actually some readers of BackpackerGuy.nz and they were super good sport. And we had to stop quite a few times to film and passing through the splashy bit quite a few repetitive times. They were absolutely amazing and we can't be thankful enough. Obviously, the team from Hanmer Adventure was awesome as well and thank you to you, Eugene. We are putting on some overalls to protect ourselves from mud and stuff. Protect us from the mud. The mud is evil. 